Okay, folks, and as you've noticed that we've had a lot of uptick on quake action, uh, it's starting to come a little bit more prevalent to the east coast, as you've seen that was the eastern border of Texas there. And then we've had this here, 2.7 there. I'm going to scroll down here on this earthquake action here. Light for size, correct, but still heavier than normal, and that is all our new Madrid area right there. It's getting very, and then also the Detroit Lakes area there. So we keep on picking up, you know, on quake action like crazy. Uh, California's known for it. Uh, there's a 5.3 off Oregon. Okay, so they've been getting it off the coast a lot. Uh, so we basically still, you know, we've been seeing it upticks. We've been getting the seven point whatevers uh, recently. I can go over here and we'll pop over to see Yellowstone. As you can see, we're getting color. I've got a couple of those that I've pulled up. Let me give you the whole scan of Yellowstone area. The caldera is very huge. Okay, so you can mount shirt in and out. Uh, I haven't had time, but I apologize to the Washington, Oregon area. I just showed Oregon. So I apologize to the Washington area if anybody wants to make a video and say what's going on over there. Now, here's what we're tailing off a little bit from what we had a lot of heavier like that yesterday when I showed uh, somebody at one of my talk groups and stuff like that. Uh, and no, I don't have any virus, basically. I am a idiot when it comes to computer technology, ladies and gentlemen. I don't get viruses. So, anyhow, as you've seen, that went away. <laughs> they don't want to lose all the money that they would, and that's why somebody was running around all over the world because the idea that basically you get viruses because companies and corporations put them in your computer so you have to buy other software and equipments and so far. So we were showing you how the New Madrid's got you a lot of action out that way you got all this data here that you, yet you're gonna see a lot of American names here okay North America and everything like that okay Virginia as I see as I scroll down Tennessee and as you see the magnitudes of the quakes to the left okay so there is a lot of earthquake activity USGS has been squashing a lot of stuff okay uh, there you got Alabama Michigan and stuff like that and then basically I take you back up to the map real fast I don't want to give you, and you see there's a lot of American names here to the right, North America and so forth and so on, a lot of quakes. So we'll take over the ride meter, and yes, we've been getting a lot of action. Uh, hopefully I'll take over space weather too, and we have a recording of uh, how much uh, signal is getting intercepted, and as you know, I'm basically, yes, expert at communications, okay? So these, this is your megahertz popping in and out on your VHF signals the graph and this is from I believe this should be from Boulder I'm not sure I think a time waste my time looking into that too. yeah I'm at harp so basically all this stuff pretty much coming in from but Alaska okay and then uh, okay we're starting here on the fourth okay and we go to the fifth because basically the third and the fourth were kind of a lull from what we were having heavier before, and as you see, we got 5.9 Pacific Ocean. There, a quake, because that's the magnitude of the quake. And as we go over, we're going to have a 5.1 that we will see. That's your magnitude, your mag line. And on the the freshest here, as long as I can get it to come down and go through, over, okay. That we have uh, 5.1 here recently, that was over in Argentina, down in South America. So. Uh, it's still a little bit of a, but we're picking up from the third and the fourth, which was kind of quieter. Uh, we may have had, as a matter of fact, I know I was looking yesterday and we had a 6.0 in the last two days. So even though we were kind of like a little bit lulled down from what we had four days ago and back, because it was quite uptickish. Now, as we're up here uh, in the space, that we're over at the... Uh, H12B in Soho will pop in and we'll see a lot of action going on up over by Jupiter. As you can see, and basically that's not the sun, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, that electrical energy you're seeing to the right, and also the third planet there, star or whatever there, through the solar panel also. Okay, so, but as you can see, there's Jupiter's magnetical line, and they've got Jupiter marked. There's still that planetoid object atmosphere that's up by Jupiter that we're being able to see from hopefully I'll get B here too uh, let me 
pop down through this one more time to so just get a little bit more look at action of this all this electrical energy that you can see because it's not just the sun there okay because we're going to be able to show you two angles here i'll go to set you and also to i'll bring up my uh map that i've got to show you uh, that earth and jupiter are basically uh out the back side off the sun pretty much alone it's supposed to be but they're not in solar wind and storm and stuff like that we're down from our high peak of we were up around the 400 area not too long ago if you're watching two minute news and stuff like that so as we're getting the energy that we had off those high winds getting propagated in because basically this is not them propagating weather right now okay this is what we were absorbing in but at as harp you know weather modification they will work with whatever energy they do get to come in that'll be free to them that they won't have to produce themselves too so they'll experiment with playing around with electrical energy from outer space as they basically use that remember harp is based on using mother nature basically uh using the knowledge of tesla and tesla was not alone he all, there was also some precursors precursing uh, gentlemen that also were studying uh, the natural electrical phenomenon from outer space okay so as you see this this is the graft of the outer sphere and the electrical energy coming in okay now and this is at harp site okay so solar is a little calm right now the wind has died down but look at what we got going on on our plasma this is off to the right ladies and gentlemen with a calm solar wind we're still getting a lot of ripple effect in our plasma, okay, in outer space. As i.e., this is a backup to the other video I did today of showing you a lot of what was going on up in space. And let me go and try to pull up Beacon in this one to show you, to back up what I already showed you off JPL's maps. So as we're getting a very odd ripple effect, but we're getting that high and low drop, that bipolar action that we're getting from the height off of what I was showing you off B off the other video. So make sure you watch both videos. And yeah, it's going to be like a half an hour of watching the data and everything like that. And the actual factual data hitting you between the eyeballs that you see the actual pictures of what's going on out in space. Okay. So let me go over to B. We'll glance through here real fast. And you got images here from Beacon. And as you see on behind, they don't really have it marked. Okay. I don't even have time really. So there, there was some interesting stuff on, on the uh, magnetograms. So as to earlier recording today of telling you about B, okay, and we're going to go look at some more footage from B because it's very interesting that what we are seeing in here, what we're seeing with Earth, as you can see, we will not get anything. Venus is not going to be able to be shot from B, okay. It's not going to be showing you because otherwise you'd see the sun in full glory. They're always showing you when they showed B, they're showing you this side of B just enough not to be able to have to. And let me show you Sechi B. We're going to go look at it. So you can study this and also what I was showing you in the other video today. It's a whole half an hour of information of planetoid objects that are absolutely not known to human beings. Astronomers, yes. Okay, so the sun's in the well. Sun's in the well here. This is blown up. Remember how I always tell you, and when you're looking at this map here, okay, Uranus, Neptune, everything's heavy on this other side. When you're looking at the stereo map, you see here that the idea that no matter what, B is at up here. The only thing that he can possibly even pull in, and what is going on with this? Because basically, okay, Mercury, okay, you see the positioning of it. Basically, stereo. What are you playing with? Okay. Because this is up to date. This is current. This is fresh. Okay? And that's what you got. Okay? And no matter what, we go by what they're shooting from. The angle here. But the only thing they're going to have is Earth. And Mercury's too goddamn small. And as you notice, when it when I show you the footage from B, you're not going to be able to... It's not Mercury. You know it from the soft. So I'll move away from this B shot to the other close-in B shot. And actually, the other going to be farther out. This is the closer-in shot. And yes, this amazing footage here because you're going to see all this here to the right. And I'll blow up to the 400 real fast and scroll up through it. And you're going to see over here by Earth that that's correct. You see how huge that is right there by my cursor? Okay. That's an atmosphere way bigger than Earth. Okay. And there's two of them. And this one's even bigger than the one that's down below. 
okay? And then remember what we found, what we found up by Jupiter before. So no matter what, that huge separation from that other shot that I showed you a long time ago in my videos in the last half dozen, the last, the last six videos, okay? So as we pop back out to like 125, you're gonna see this is basically from here, and this one's here, way the hell up here. And those are atmospheres of planets, which when you look at the coordinates, okay, that no matter what, there's nothing supposed to be over here, okay? There's absolutely nothing over here with Earth at that angle, okay? Earth is over there alone at that angle. Earth and Jupiter, okay? Only supposed to be Jupiter, okay? Watch the last movie. You have to go watch the video before this because absolutely I will show you that the factual that Jupiter is not in this angle. Can you go to JPL? Let me pull JPL up real fast in here again. But basically you should just go to the footage of me showing you because I show you off JPL and the other footage, okay, that the idea that neither one of these here should be Jupiter. And the only one it possibly could, no matter what, this possibly at odds could be Jupiter possibly but I believe I found Jupiter up above here in footage off of B in the last half the last week above over here above the Sun barely I'm still trying to find that footage and I'll make a video when I find that okay layer I'm beginning to believe that maybe they covered that up which they shouldn't have but they could do and what possibility we'll have to wait and see but I'm gonna try to find the footage that I've have of this of showing where I get a shadow and everything of a planetoid object up here that looks like it's damn well to be Jupiter no matter what we are seeing what we're seeing we got two and the one that's up high is larger so this sure the hell should be Jupiter up here and no matter what now I don't have show Jupiter on this map but when you go to JPL so I don't you gotta, you gotta go watch the video before this one to be able to realize that what I'm showing you is the truth because I have JPL in the video before. So watch the video before and this one here. And it's very important to watch 30 minutes to see what the heck is actually going on out there. Now let me see if I can actually find the one above Jupiter, above the sun. You also see the comet that makes that explosion there. That comet comes in and you'll see that on the other video too. So go to there, the video just before this. To and this is the important thing about making the videos, ladies and gentlemen. Because what I've been looking for, Jupiter is, no matter what, when you go to the coordinates, okay, you're not going to see it on this one here, but you will be if you watch the video before, like I've been repeating and repeating and repeating, because Americans have short attention span theater. Now I'm going to go back to the 24th, okay, we'll show you the footage from the 24th, this is the 25th, okay, these you have magnetic lines on them, okay, they are planetoid objects, they rotate in our solar system clockwise earth and everything else that we know rotates around the sun counterclockwise ladies and gentlemen okay and actually since i already showed you the 24th we'll go to the 26th okay these planetoid objects are here and as we go to the i believe i've got the 20 do i have the 27th or the 28th but what's interesting when i show you the 28th is what the hell are they even shooting at when they're at the 28th because where is earth at they have a total different angle, they adjusted the, and they don't even have Earth marked on the 28th, you see? And they have covered up from what I did see. There is, if you watch a lot of the footage, you can somewhat see, I believe on the 30th or 31st, there's enough of a blast where you can pretty much see where Jupiter's at. And you will see it in the other video. Now there on the 29th, we have our magneticals and we have Earth, okay? And these planets, going all the way back to the 24th, okay, these planets are here. This is not Jupiter. Neither one of this is Jupiter, okay? And no matter what, there's three of them, and you end up seeing this one flare here. This is one of my ones when I showed you it was flaring before, okay? And then if you go with the video before this one today, you'll see these other two planets here doing their flaring also, okay? Now these planets, these three here, they move clockwise to the sun not counterclockwise now I didn't even try to stop that plan there so hang on let's get back to okay now we're on the 25th I'm not even gonna take time to edit I'm just gonna keep on finishing the rest of the 
footage out here with this. And then the 26th, 